Spider-Man 3 is a continuation of the story of Peter Parker. He's getting recognition as somebody who's helping his community um, as Spider-Man. And he's on his way to really becoming the hero that we all imagined he would be. At the beginning of Spider-Man 3, we find Peter Parker pretty much where we left him off at the end of the second Spider-Man film. He's feeling very good. Things are lining up in his life. Peter has great success. Spider-Man's being heralded. Everything's great. He's got the girl. The city loves him. He's on top of the world. And what happens when he gets a little bit full of himself? Spider-Man! People love him, and they bring, at times, the worst out of him. We have some new information. This is your uncle's actual killer. This man killed my uncle, and he's still out there. And that is the beginning of a movement toward his dark side of this picture. Revenge is like a poison. It could turn you into something ugly. <gasps> Peter's dealing with some darkness that has afflicted him. It enhances those kind of more negative or darker qualities of somebody's character. The power. <gasps> Feels good. Whoa, Spidey, love the new outfit. Give me some of that web action. It's wonderful to bring new actors into the series, like Topher Grace. Eddie Brock is ambitious and power hungry, and he's trying to step on Peter. Nana, nana, for better. He's busy. Oh, no, I'm just here to talk to you, beautiful. He's certainly better at flirting with women than Peter. He might beat Peter at getting a staff job at the Bugle. Spider-Man with his hand in a cookie jar. Whoever brings me that photo gets a job. I got you this. Eddie and Peter are rivals because J. Jonah Jameson kind of sets them up as rivals. When are you gonna give a guy a break? Everybody needs help sometimes, Peter. Even Spider-Man. This movie has a new character, Sandman. He gets atomized in a classic comic book accident and uh, Spider-Man is once again up against a really sort of indomitable foe. have a lot packed into this film. What we're going to be able to do is going to be mind-blowing.